Hey, this is Justin with Salt Strong, and in this quick video, we're gonna take a look at two very popular jig heads. On the left-hand side, we have the Z-Man Trout Eye Jig Heads, and on the right-hand side, we have the Z-Man Redfish Eye Jig Heads. Now, right off the bat, let me answer the question. No, the left ones don't just catch trout, and the right ones don't just catch redfish. They both can catch a whole variety of inshore game fish, a whole variety of fish in general, but there's, there's subtle differences between both of these jig heads, and I want to go into what some of these differences are and some of the soft plastics that each series of jig head best matches up with. So what you're going to see here is I have the trout eye jig head up top, and I have the redfish eye jig head down below. Both of these are 3 16th ounce jig heads in pearl eye color, but obviously one is a lot longer than the other. So the trout eye is actually a 2 aught mustad hook for the base hook, and the redfish eye is a 4 aught mustad hook. So in looking at length difference, you're at about, let's say, an inch and a half in length from the tip of the eye to the end of the shank of the hook on the trout eye. And on the redfish eye, you're looking at about two inch, a little over two inches, let's say two and a quarter, or within that range here on the redfish eye. So right there, you're gonna see there is a shank length difference between the trout and the redfish eye. So these different jig heads are gonna pair up better with different length soft plastics from about that three inch to the five inch range. Something really cool I just noticed, guys, when I put these two jig heads side by side is the eye point or the tie point where you're gonna attach your leader the location of those eyes here at the top of the jig head are different. They're different degree angles. So I'm not able to determine exactly what the degree angle is here on the trout eye, but you'll notice the eye of this hook is a little bit further back on the head of the, of the jig head, on the lead head. But on the redfish eye, the eye is further forward. Now, here's what I do know. The further forward placed eye, I believe this is a 30, de 30 degree angle eye, is gonna be more conducive to swimming or a straight retrieve on your soft plastics. That's not to say you can't bounce bottom with, with both styles, but this is probably gonna perform best when you're retrieving back a paddle tail. Um, so this is just something cool that I noticed and something you should consider uh, when, you're, when you're putting on different soft plastics on each jig head and how you choose to retrieve them. So we wanna to try to keep things as simple as possible. And I'll just start by saying this. While all of these jig heads in the video can work with a variety of different soft plastics, some jig heads work better with different plastics. And the biggest difference is the length of the soft plastic and the jig head. So with the trout eye being a two watt hook and much shorter in length than the redfish eye, they're gonna pair better with smaller soft plastics like three inch paddle tails, for example. So our Slam Shady 2.0, the Fred paddle tail and the Gold Digger paddle tail, and even the OG Slam Shady three inch Minnow Z are going to pair best with the Trout Eye series because that shorter shank hook is not gonna come so far back on the paddle tail and impede the action of the paddle tail itself. Now for the Redfish Eye, because it is a longer shank jig head, they're gonna pair better with longer paddle tails, naturally. So things like our Slam Shady Bomber, which is a five inch paddle tail, the uh, Alabama Leprechaun Jerk Shad, and the five inch Paddler Z, if you choose to go with a jig head, this is gonna be a better option because the length of the shank of the jig head is gonna come further back on the lure and it's not going to affect the action. Now, think about it. If you were to pop, let's say, a Slam Shady Bomber on a trout eye, could it work? Yes, absolutely, it could work. But the benefit of using a longer shank jig head on these longer lures ideally is to prevent short strikes. So if a trout or a redfish, especially here in the winter months, or even a flounder comes up to investigate any of these paddle tails and they go to strike it, they might only be biting the back side of the lure, maybe the back half. And not all fish are going to completely commit and engulf the soft plastic. So to avoid those situations where you get a short strike, it's better to have these longer shank jig heads match up with the appropriate size soft plastics so you have a little bit further back exposed hook and a better chance of hooking up. The trickier question to ask is, what do you do with four inch soft plastics? If we've established that the three inchers are better fit with trout eye jig heads and the five inch lures are better fit with the redfish eyes, where do the four inchers line up? And honestly, both will work well. At the end of the day, I think you need to consider two different trains of thought. 
If you go with the shorter shank hook, like the trout eye, then what you're trying to do is maximize the lure performance by having more of the back end not be impeded by the shank of the hook. Or the other school of thought is, if you go with the redfish eye, then you might reduce some of the action, not much, it will still work, but your focus in that regard is to help with short striking from trout or flounder or any other game fish that might not be fully ready to commit. But at the end of the day, whether you go with the redfish eye or the trout eye, both will work on these four inch models. A couple examples here in this video are the four inch jerk shad by Z-Man, four inch diesel minnow, and the four inch paddler Z. The difference between them is right smack dab in the middle between three and five inches. So both styles of jig heads will work with this length of soft plastic. So my hope is that this video gives you a clear picture of different soft plastics pairing better with different length of jig heads. In particular, the trout eye and the redfish eye jig heads by Z-Man. Think about it like this. A Phillips head screw can be undone or tightened down with a flathead screwdriver, but it's not as effective as a Phillips head screwdriver. And that's kind of the premise of this video. While both of these plastics and jig heads can be universal in the same situations, there's benefits to having certain length soft plastics paired better with different lengths of these two jig heads. If you have any questions down below or if you've used either or both of these jig heads or even some of these soft plastics, please leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you want a chance to pick up any of the items we had demonstrated here in this video, the soft plastics, the jig heads, any tackle that an inshore angler needs, you guys gotta head over to fishstrong.com. We have everything for you over there. And if you're one of our insider members, you can earn up to 20% off of all the products that you see here in this video today. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best inshore fishing club in America that teaches you how to catch more redfish, sea trout, snook, and flounder. There's nothing else like it, guys. We're gonna guarantee you catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education, an exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle that an inshore angler needs. So head over to saltstrong.com and we will see you on the water soon.